Hello everybody and welcome back to Hypixel Skyblock. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the bazaar once again, but specifically how you can make money using the bazaar. This is going to be a Hypixel Skyblock bazaar flipping tutorial on the current flips that you can use in today's video. But before we get into that, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe because every subscriber counts and it really helps me out. So please subscribe and let's get into the video. One bizarre flip that's really interesting right now is seeds. So if you go into farming and then seeds, you can see that in the seeds category, there's actually a really big disparity there because people making buy orders, you can make a buy order for 0.3 coins and you can sell them for one coin. And that's because people tend to insta sell seeds because they're not worth that much as you just saw and you can insta sell them people insta sell them after buying wheat especially in the early game and farming that up as an early game money making method but you can use it as a money making method for a different stage of the game because other people buy wheat to make their farms and buy seeds to make their farms if they want a wheat farm they need to buy some seeds so they'll buy their seeds and boom that's basically free money for you because you can buy the seeds that people are insta selling and then resell them for more profit to the people that want to build some farms. So everyone wins. I would highly recommend using a buy order, sell order, smart flip strategy for seeds while they're profitable because they are actually pretty profitable right now and can make you a lot of money. So I would highly recommend checking them out. So Mayor Paul is mayor right now, and that actually means a lot of interesting money-making methods. So if you didn't know, Mayor Paul is basically the dungeon's mayor. He gives you better score on dungeon's runs and makes dungeon chests 20% cheaper. That's actually the most significant part, because if you go over to the auction house, you can see that dungeon items will go down in price, because they cost 20% less. And most people, when selling dungeon items, don't wait until after Paul. They'll just sell them right away, and they'll sell them immediately. And if they're just trying to make profit, they'll sell them for right up about what they're worth and during poll that goes down so i highly recommend you go over to the auction agent and this is a really good time to buy dungeon items or if you're into dungeons run dungeons but wait to sell your items and don't sell them right after poll because that will have the same if not worse effect but instead sell them a little bit after poll has already ended so maybe like a week that way you get a good balance of it actually being the correct prices for the items and that will mean that you just maximize your profit while playing dungeons and maximize your profit if you're trying to do a little bit of flipping everybody wins and it's just better for you so i highly recommend you do that this next money making method is a bit unorthodox but it does do a pretty good job most of the time go into the pets menu and then press your rat pet if you don't have a rat pet you can get one for pretty cheap or you can find one actually um, you can look up a guide on YouTube for that, but rat pets really aren't that expensive. If we check over at the AH, we can actually see how expensive they are right now. Uh, they're not that much, so it's not that big of a pain to get one. So let's go and check the rat pet prices, uh, and let's set to lowest price. Yeah, the cheapest one's 1 1.65 mil, so you can definitely find one easier, but you can also buy them for pretty cheap. So to make money with this method, you're going to want to just sit on your rat, and just move around. You can use your hotbar to control how fast you're going. I recommend you go at one and you'll see you see the you smell cheese nearby. So that was somewhere behind us and find that cheese because you can then sell that cheese for an actual decent bit of profit. So we spotted cheese somewhere around here. Let's try to find it again. Maybe it went inside the bank. No, I'm not sure. So you really just want to run around and wait until you get the little alert that says you smell cheese nearby. Sometimes it won't work that well and you have to like leave and go back onto your hot bar, uh, but you normally should be able to find one. So basically just look for when it says you smell cheese nearby and then hop on that cheese to get a bit of money. Ah, uh, you see there's a cheese right there that we can pick it up and you'll see it also buffs the people around you, but that's not that important. As you can see, the most important part is that sells for 3,000 coins. So I can just make a bunch of these, 3,000 coins every, oh, there's another one. And it really doesn't take that long to get, as you just saw. They just pop in up in front of you. And you can just go around this while doing something else, even while waiting for your bizarre auction orders to fill. And you can earn some little bit of extra money. So I highly recommend you do that and then sell them back to the AH. So yeah, you can make a decent bit of money doing that as well. Another money making method that's making a much profit right now is making enchanted lava buckets. So let's look at NEU and enchanted lava buckets actually make a decent bit of profit. For them you need two enchanted blocks of coal and three enchanted iron. As you can see these items don't cost that much. Enchanted iron cost about 1,200 coins and enchanted blocks of coal cost about 134,000 coins. 
But if you look at the sell price for this, you can see it's 265,000 coins. So you can usually make profit crafting those up because people are very likely to insta buy enchanted lava buckets as they are setting up their minions because it's the general recommended fuel for most players. So I would highly recommend you check out using the bazaar and just make sure that that's profitable and then try to craft it because it normally is and it can make you a decent bit of profit. So thank you all so much for watching this video on Hypesol Skyblock where I showed you as many Hypesol Skyblock money making methods as I possibly could using the Hypesol Skyblock Bazaar. I really hope these money making methods helped you out and I'll see you guys in the next video which should be tomorrow. Goodbye.